Um, two straight nights holding opponents under 100 points. I'm just curious what your thoughts were on your team's defense over these last two games. Um, I think, you know, other than we had some stretches where particularly live ball turnovers, you know, those are hard to defend against. But if we, when we got set, I, I thought, you know, we did a, a, a better job staying in front of the ball. And, um, you know, our, our bigs came over and, you know, contested shots and uh, able to rebound. So it's, you know, playing through a whole possession. And uh, so I think we're helping each other more. And then I wanted to ask about Jalen Johnson's, you know, ability to pass and, and read the game. Just what have you seen from him as far as growth over the last few games and especially in the third quarter, him finding several guys out yeah. in transition? Well, you know, when you have someone that can rebound the ball and push it in transition, we're, we're, we've got to get better at spacing for him. Um, you know, that was something we tried to talk about. And when guys just keep running and open the court because, he, you know, he's – it's not anything new, really. I mean, he's got really good vision, and particularly in transition. Um, and he'll become, I think, more and more efficient with some of those passes as well. And, and uh, But we want him attacking like that, and his teammates know, um, even if he's not giving somebody a scoring pass, you know, his ability to play make is really important for our team. That's a, it's a big part of what we want to do offensively. You go to the uh, coach's challenge early tonight with Kobe's block. I wanted to get your thoughts on, on that specific play and then just Kobe's performance overall tonight. Yeah, you know, you go to the coach's challenge when, you know, you, you think they made the wrong call. So that happened to happen early. Um, and, you know, Kobe, Kobe's one of the guys that, you know, he stayed in front and he's got really active hands. So when he's in the play like that, you know, he's able to impact. Um, you know, in addition uh, to, to you know to keeping somebody out of the lane when they do get in the lane, he's 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 making them round their drives, and uh, it's good. You know, he hasn't played extended minutes like that. You know, obviously we want him. He's in the rotation and he's playing, um, but he was playing well, and uh, it was good to see. Again, I you know I refer all the time to the work that he's put in, and I, I think it's. It's true, you know, and that, that's what he's done. I think he understands that as well. Coach Clint was hurt. Anyeka is hurt. Uh, so we've seen a lot more of Jalen at the five lately. What mm -hmm. are you looking for in those minutes when, when he's in the middle? I, I felt like in the first half we weren't as comfortable offensively, um, although there was a couple possessions when we used him in screen and roll, and he, he can pop or he can roll. Um, you know, so he, there's some versatility there. We've got to get more comfortable, you know, with with him in that in that role. And you know, tonight was a little different. We finished the half that way, and then Kessler was in. They were really big. Um, but I think you know that's something that you know we want to continue to work on. And um, you know, those guys getting more connected as a group. You know, where we're not. You know, he, he doesn't have to be the the end point. You know, he he can. This kind of goes to Lauren's question is. If he can dribble handoff, if he can pass and then screen and you know get us even more activity, we we look a little kind of frozen at times because um, it's not our comfort zone yet. But you know we want to work on that. Going back to Kobe really fast, um, you touched on it with him, his ability to move his feet and keep his hands back when he's defending. Just what does it say about his discipline not picking up his first foul until there was like what four minutes left in the game? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, you don't want to foul when they're in the bonus, but it's okay, you know, at various times to, to foul if that's the price for playing hard and playing hard defensively. So that's something, you know, he, he needs to be aware of. Um, I think he is. Um, but, you know, that, you know, aggression and discipline is really important to be disruptive, but also also be disciplined. And um, you know, as you said, he, he didn't foul, which means he's moving his feet in those situations. Coach, at the beginning of the season, 
uh, we were allowing around 15.5 points per game off cuts. And that's the most in the tracking era. And, and that's to be expected when you install a new defensive system, guys are blitzing, adjusting and rotating on the weak side. But there's been a lot of growth since then. Mm -hmm. um, and now we're, we're actually second worst, right? Right ahead of the, uh, <laughs> behind the Wizards, right? But still, that's a three point jump per game. So that's a massive improvement from where it was. So could you speak to the technique, some sort of adjustments that you've seen from the guys that they've grown in, within the scheme that you've installed? Is that in the second spectrum or sports code or what do you want? Synergy. Synergy, okay. Yes, sir. The, um, no, I, you make a good point. I, I think it, it goes with the help side, and you have to be able to be in a rotation situation and then see a cutter. And I, I think it's um, it, it, it's also impactful because those cutters are on on the glass. So um, it, it's a collective effort. You know, I think it, it, it's you know guys rotating together and, and being on a string on defense and. Uh, you know, we have more weak side awareness is really what it comes down to. So hopefully we can get to 28th at some point. Mm -hmm. Okay.